Hello, Leo. Welcome back to Angel's Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly love message for October 2019. Okay, Leo, what is going on? Angels and guides, angels and guides, we are pulling out all the positive energy that we can for Leo the Lion. Yes, yes, yes for October. Angels and guides, what is going on for Leo the Lion in the love department? Yes, yes, yes. What is going on for Leo? Leo, Leo, what is going on? Yes, for these 30 30 or 31. I have to look it up. Okay, angels and guides, angels and guides, what is going on for Leo? Yes, these. Ah, ah, there we go. You ready? Are you ready to get into this? All right, so angels, guides, what is going on for Leo in the love department? Five of swords, nine of clubs, five of hearts. What is going on? I feel like Leo, who is coming in between the two of you? You know who it is. You know, you know who it is, okay? I feel like, I feel like someone's trying to come between you. I want to say break you up. Um, and with the nine of clubs, I feel like, I feel like there's a lot of talk between the two of you. Someone is definitely trying to break you two up. And um, I know you know who it is. I know it. I know it. But, you know, with this nine of clubs, I also feel like... Um, you're ready to walk away. You're ready to walk away. And, um, and I'm not saying from your relationship. You're ready to walk away from the people that are coming in between. You, you're just, you're ready. And I feel like if you don't walk away from the people that are coming in between, I feel like they will definitely, I feel like they're trying to tear you apart. That's, that's just what I'm picking up. Now, if this is not you, if this is not you, Leo, if, then, you know, feel free, feel free, yes, to, um, yeah, like, if, if this does not resonate with you, I just have to read what is before me. If this does not resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you, okay? So, but I definitely feel like someone is coming in between. All right, now, the, the, um, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Wands, in the reverse, not in the reverse, I feel like in the recent past, someone stood their ground with the Nine of Spades and the Seven of Diamonds. I feel like, I feel like you stood your ground in the past, and you were very authoritative. And I feel like with this nine of spades, you may have let your partner go. I feel like you may have let your partner go. And I feel like you let your partner go and you just like turned your back. I feel like you just, okay, I'm done. Bye. I'm, I'm letting you go, right? Now, in the middle of the month, and that was in the past. Okay, that was in the past. Now, in the middle of the month, you have the nine of swords reversed with the king of diamonds and the ace of spades. So I feel like you get a little bit of resolve and you get your, your, your health your emotional health back and I feel like you're starting to stand in your power and I feel like you're ready to start a new beginning definitely a new beginning and this is a new beginning like you have never known before in your relationship now by the end of the month you have the death card with the six of diamonds and the jack of spades and I'm feeling like there is a, an ending to something and I feel like mm, there's an ending, but somebody's holding on, holding on, holding on. Like you want to end something, but they're holding on. And this Jack of Spades is saying that they might be saying anything they possibly can to hold on. While you're trying to cut, they're trying to hold on. You're trying to cut, they're trying to hold on. No, the bonus, your bonus is the, um, the eight, the eight of cups reversed. The two of swords. Ten of Swords reversed, Ace of Wands, Two of Diamonds, Eight of Clubs, Two of Clubs, and Three of Spades. So the bonus in your relationship, I feel like there is a return. There is a return to emotional, I feel, stability. I feel like you're still not sure, even though things are starting to turn around. You're feeling, I feel like, I feel like whoever is trying to come in between you, uh, and, and, and hurt you two, I feel like, I feel like you worked that out. You definitely worked that out. And you guys have a new, be fresh, a fresh new beginning together. I see you guys coming together first a little bit, um, like not so lovey-dovey, but you're definitely, you know, side by side. 
on this journey. This eight of clubs is like, yeah, yeah, you know what? This is all about us. This is all about our relationship. And I see you guys talking about, um, I see you guys talking about, you know, people and how crazy this has been. And um, there's a lot going on this month. So keep your business to yourself. Don't share so much about your relationship to other people because they're, you know, what may work for you may not work for other people um, or people might judge your relationship and want, I just feel like somebody's wanting to, I, if you don't want your relationship ended or, or, or people coming in between, shut it down, you know, shut down the, the um, social media, uh, shut down the sharing too much about your relationship. It's, it's really causing havoc. It's definitely causing havoc. And if you don't do something, if you're not proactive, it could cause so much damage that coming back, coming back together is going to be hell. It's going to be like, how do we get back? How do we get back? How do we get back? I see you getting back, but you know, you don't even have to go through this. If you just, you know, shut these people down or shut the situation down. You can, it's almost like you can do it nice or you can do it hard, however you want to do it, but be cautious. That's all I'm saying. Be cautious how much you share. Don't share so much on social media. Don't share so much with your, your friends. Um, because yeah, I just, everyone might not see your love, um, as special as you see your love. Maybe your love does a line of work that other people don't approve of, or maybe your your love has a history that um, other people may say, you know, you shouldn't be with that person because of that person's history and things of that nature. So um, if you want this, yeah, keep it shut, keep it shut, okay. All right, so I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your